Hello everyone, good morning. By the way, I'm Eduardo Golfan and to this video, I'm going to show you on how to apply the conditional formatting in Microsoft Access, just like this one, guys. So now let us highlight this first. If the value is, like for example, the value is equals to 50, then it will be highlighted with color yellow. So how to do that? Let us click this design view. Now let us select this on hand quantity. Go to format. Go to conditional formatting. And here we go guys. Show formatting roles for on hand quantity. This one. And new role. So failed value is equals to... 50 and then the color will be yellow and also guys you can add a font color just like this one this is the preview this is the result and also you can use a uh, bold or italic but for me i like this black so click ok if you're ok na ok then apply ok and let us check so this is the result guys so all the file that contains 50 so being highlighted what if 49 so this is it what if guys um the value is from 40 to 49 and then the color is color green so to do that so again same uh, procedure highlight and then format conditional formatting and let us add a new role so failed value between 40 so you're gonna use this between 40 to 49 and then the color is uh, green this one okay and then we can directly click ok without this apply just click ok and let us check here we go guys this one so what if 39 nothing 40 okay so what if 50 so it's working guys now what if we want to highlight uh, by rows so not just only this single column so to do that let us go to the sign view and then uh, let us delete the existing format so now let us highlight highlight all of these files so that all of this file will be uh, hi highlighted also so let us go to conditional formatting and then as you can see multiple because we selected multiple value or multiple fields so new role click on this and then a while ago we use the file value but now we're gonna use the expression so let's use the bracket so to signify that this is a string so on hand on hand quantity is equals to 50 and the highlight is yellow so okay okay and let us check here we go so as you can see all the value all the file that contains 50 is being highlighted what if 49 none what if 51 none because it's 50 so what if uh, we gonna use a ranges like uh, between two digits or, I mean two values so do that let us highlight all files again and then click the format then conditional formatting and let us add a new role so field value is uh, I mean expression let us check this and also guys instead of typing we can also use this one the expression builder so let's type on hand quantity so since this is a range so let's put between between um like 40 and 49 so something like this 
OK. And then the color is color green. Click OK. Apply. OK. And let us check. Here we go, guys. So this is the result. So from 40 to 49, what if 51? No. 50. Nothing. 48. Okay. So because our uh, value ranges is uh, 40 to 49. What if 0 to 30? So again, highlight and then format, conditional formatting, neural, and then expression. Uh, uh, let us use this expression builder. So on hand, quantity between 0 and 30 and then the color is something like critical the color red okay apply and let us see here we go guys so that's pretty simple pretty easy and the last one I will show you so a while ago we used this this one Failed value and also the expression, but I will also show you how to use this. Failed has focus, so what is the purpose of this? So now uh, let us open another form sample. So let us so highlight, guys, highlight, and then format conditional formatting, new rule. And then let us use this file has focus. So if the file if uh, if it's on the focus like this one, the color is this one, and we can also make it uh, italic and click OK, apply. Let's try. So this one, guys. If we want to type and also if we want to add, so it's easy for us. This is for visual identification. So I think, guys, I tackled the most important thing. And if you have some questions, you can comment it down below. I will try my best to answer that one. And if you like this video, please click like. And if it's possible for you to share this video to other uh, interested, so I'm happy for that. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. So it's a big help for me, guys. So that's all. Thank you. And see you to my next video.